Messi, Shalom Philippe. Good, Good afternoon, Eddie. Shalom, Fernando. Shalom, Shalom. Glad to be here as well. How are you today? I'm good, thank you. And good how are you? Here. Fine, it's a beautiful day here. And how is it in Brazil, Fernando? Today here, it's a beautiful day at you. We, we can feel the, the cold air coming, you know. Mm -hmm. the temperature is going down. But we have the, the, the sun is shining, so it's a beautiful autumn day that we have here today. Good to hear, Fernando. And good morning, Rose from Canada. I can see you on YouTube. Today is a very special day. Jeff, good morning. We are very happy that you're here. Good morning, Eddie. Very happy to be here. Today is a very special day that I would like to share with you because it, <laughs> it is special. This is April 14th, isn't it? Yes. April is the fourth yeah. month. I would like to open now the whiteboard. I hope that you are there. The whiteboard. Here's Victoria. Good afternoon, Victoria. And I would like to, in a way, to show, to share with you abstract thinking. Today is April 4. April is the fourth month. April. One second. I will write it here. Do you have an access to the whiteboard or shall I speak uh, just freely without writing? The whiteboard is showing on YouTube. Okay, so we can write. April is the fourth month, just to show you how everything is working as, as clock. <laughs> April is the fourth month. So we are today in the 14th of the four months. Do you see what is what is happening on the whiteboard? Mm -hmm. It's 14th of the four months. This is one, four, four. Adam or Emmet. Tomorrow, according to the Hebrew calendar, it will be the 14th of the first month because the first month is first month is spring. But in a way, I would like to show you how this is working in an uh, abstract or absolute way. This is the day, this is the time of the year. Whether if we look okay. through the lens of the solar calendar, or the lunar calendar, or the Hebrew calendar. Do you see what what is there or not yet? The whiteboard showing what you've written. Yeah. Do, do you understand, Fernando? Do you see? Do you understand? Yes, it, I'm following, yes. Do, do you understand that this is the time of the year it is not by chance that Passover or Easter is happening at this time of the year. But maybe it's too it's much. Amazing. Yes, because no, no, I'm, no, no, I'm no, not... No. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm listening and thinking about this symbolism and uh, I'm very moved at this uh, these days, you know, thinking about uh, the symbolism that lies beyond what is happening, you know. Uh, like Fine Rep says, is these holidays, they show to us what is happening in other plants. Yes, yes, yes. It is like an, a moment that we are close, close to the, the the hidden, you know, yes. the hidden is manifesting and we are uh, living the manifested maybe. Yes. It is a marriage, right? Yes. yes. So, so I'm very overwhelmed just listening to you very carefully. Please continue it. Because at the beginning I thought to make just a little conversation and blessing and to, to, to bless, the f to give the, f the blessing of the firstborn, the the firstborn of the spirit, but 
in a way it's nice it builds yes uh philip on to previous days as well yes yes and this day like the sages say this day is capable meaning everything like fine rib says the hidden in a way manifest or shows its bud and we can see it through the solar calendar this, this is april 14th and even if we count it doesn't matter now from which direction because this is a lateral thinking so even if we count from january and january is in the winter one two three four and this is 14th of the four this is one four four adam from right to left or from left to right emit this and is it yes <coughs> fernando and, and 2022 we can take the word bless right yes Barak. yes Bar you know. yes very good Berech, blessing to bless yeah. yes this is 2022 we have three times two so we have bet resh is 200 can be taken as two like a small number and half of feet is the blessing blessing the human and blessing the truth in a way this is a new uh, counting this is a new jubilee that we are starting This is just to share with you. And yeah, uh, this day is felt here in Israel. It's it's felt, people. It is felt in the air. Yes, it is. I yes, <laughs> yes. I would say it, it, that here as well. I, I was just, <laughs> you know, the the expression we can feel in the air. It was in my mind, and it you just said it. You know, but, yes. but I can imagine in Israel that you. Could. It is the place, right? It yes, is it place. is the place and it, it is felt in the air. It is a very, uh, not just uh, because people say that they can remember the preparation because before every holiday there there is a preparation, but this time it's, it's, it's very different. And also yesterday on the Carmel Mountain and you felt it from the pictures, nobody remembers uh, the nature in this way in the colors it was a special winter 90 days without sun at all and only water and the the water are uh, how do you say uh, uh, the mountain is drinking the water and it shows its deep color because it's soaked with water and nobody remembers such uh, season here there is no documentation of something like this um not just from the Carmel mountain the air the air something new is being born and it is felt in the spirit and That's maybe cool. yes maybe you can you can sense it from the, the pictures on the Carmel mountain or from our stories here this is a very special moment uh, i would like to share it with you and there's like a verse here and the painting and we have friends here Victoria and so Rose. were you planning yes. to keep it specifically uh, abstract today again 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 uh, were you thinking to have it uh, precisely on abstract thinking today oh not just today we this is what we practice usually in our sessions oh, uh, no, no, no. yeah I, I understand that what is interesting is the day that since the how do you say the date the time of the year is speaking truth this is the day in which the firstborn of the spirit is being i mean the firstborn what is the firstborn is the spirit what is the spirit human adam to be human this is the birth of the spirit and the birth of the spirit is also truth so everything is just it's like a triangle today we were speaking about this yesterday we have three focal points the spirit human and truth adam is it is felt it is felt it's a new spirit 
which is they sing love is in the air there's a song love is in the air this is in the air it is fa it and it is felt now if people submit themselves to listen to TVs to radio broadcast the, the tyranny of media I call it so we are fed with lies and schemes and politics and wars and we believe to what our eyes uh, see on because there's 24 7 TV internet everything news flash but if a person does not nourish himself from TVs and uh, news sections and just being there with the spirit it is felt the speech of truth is felt and this is uh, what what I wish to share with you today because I just thought yesterday okay to give the the how do you say the blessing of the firstborn the blessing of the spirit to to listen to the vocation this is the blessing of the first uh, born to listen to the spirit but today I thought this is the 14th of April so it's 144 144 this is it so I cannot ignore it this is this is why there is a verse here from the Bible Kadeshli make it uh, holy for me the firstborn and there's a painting here and I would like to discuss with you all of those topics and listen to your questions and thoughts amazing yes Rodrigo is here good morning Rodrigo I'm very happy that you're here good morning Yeti shalom everybody Fernando Jeff and Philippe and hello hello Shalom, shalom, and I'm very happy to be here. I'm listening as and try, try to follow you. And while you are talking about, I remember Exodus chapter 12, verse 2, uh, when the God says, This month shall be unto the beginning of months, it shall be the first month of the year to you. That's and I just look into this verse and thinking about it. Thank you, thank you. Something very interesting happened last night after our lesson, our sessions. Usually after we say shalom, goodbye, shalom, shalom, I click on stop streaming button and it stopped streaming and this uh, video is being cut, processed and moves to YouTube to everybody to listen if they don't have uh, the real time. Something happened last night. I clicked stopped stream stop streaming but the the button the software did not click stop and i received a message from amy amy dreaming the one who sends us a vinery book the scroll of esther and she said please pay attention there is an ongoing stream it's still streaming but on silent mode so we were trying to fix it today and to fish only the first hour because when I stopped it this morning it was uh, showing 19 hours of broadcasting like live stream when I stopped it and I tried to fix it and to fish only the first hour our conversation from yesterday so while I was trying to fish the first hour and it's still being processed YouTube showed me that yesterday was the 140 live stream that we made this is also interesting this mistake also yesterday the session with rebecca youtube says that it was the 140 uh live uh sessions oh, yes yesterday this is also interesting i did not know because i did not count i do not look back but so to speak this software mistake brought me to fish and to look how to correct and i found this number because we were speaking about it mm -hmm. so it, this is like quite interesting and also charles was writing this afternoon on slack it says that l yesterday lesson is mute it doesn't have any voice so the answer to all of those who are writing about the lack of sound it is being pro since it's a long uh, how do you say um, 
uh, recording of 19 hours, YouTube now is processing 19 hours or 18 hours of silence. When YouTube will finish to process uh, the silence, I could fish the first hour, our conversation and trim the video and present it to you. So this is like a little uh, present from the universe. I feel though it was a mistake, it's, it's not a mistake because it's like communicating to us something. And I would it like turns to share. Out, yes. Uh, as well, actually, that uh, 19 hours uh, by 60 minutes is 1140, which I don't know, I maybe perceive as a parallel to 140, I guess, but we have a, a 114 there as well. Yeah, I saw this. I saw the numbers. Yes, on the I saw this this afternoon. This is interesting. If that has any significant value, even as well, if it clicks with anyone, a one one four. If okay. it had yes, yes, it definitely. So now feel free to ask, to, to share, to communicate, to speak about the paint, oh. whatever comes to you, whatever comes to you, please feel free. Etty, uh, mm -hmm. uh, no, no, the, I'm going to write you something that, that came as well, because I need to, to organize my thinking. Yes. But, uh, yes. but, uh, but indeed I can say that that we can see the synchronicities happening that you are mentioning. Thank you. Jeff, would you like to say something? Uh, well, it, uh, it's amazing that you're all, all of this, what you're describing. And, uh, you know, I've been seeing these exact same things happening um, over and again, but but in a uh, um, a more I don't know how to say it uh, like an increasing way or so what what has happened now seems to be a climax or a or a point to it all so it, it's uh it, it'll be exciting to see <laughs> where things go from here mm -hmm. thank you thank you philip would you like to say something i was only going to mention uh, i might have uh, more contribution to the classes uh, if or maybe uh, read the verses to sort of speak more from that side mm -hmm. of the class. Yes. So if I... just a... Uh, yeah? Yes, yes. I would like to understand. Would you like to read the verses, if, if I understood well? Uh, well, I was saying, I, I feel I might uh, be able to contribute more uh, by maybe doing that. Very good. Very good. Thank you. So, what would you like to start with? With the verses, with the painting, or something that you would like to share from your heart, Victoria, Ruth? Rodrigo? What would you like to start with? If no one has anything to bring up, uh, mm -hmm. can start with the verse and then go to the picture. Okay. So let's move. Victoria, please tell me if you can see the letters clearly. You also on YouTube, Philip? You read from YouTube or from? I am, um, yeah, YouTube as well. So you see the letters, everything is clear. 
yeah, that's that's perfect now. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, and more the, more the okay. thank you. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Sanctify unto me all the firstborn whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man and of beast, it is mine. And Moses said unto the people, Remember this day in which ye came out from Egypt, out of the house of bondage, for by strength of hand the Lord brought you out from this place. There shall no leavened bread be eaten. Uh, Leavened? Yeah, leavened. This day ye go forth in the month, Abib. Thank you. Thank you so much. Here the Hebrew That's said, so thank you. Hayom, here, Hayom. I read the, fo- the fourth in Hebrew. Hayom, today, Hayom, this day, today, at this moment. Atem yotzim, you're going out. Bechodesh, in the month. Ha'aviv, in the month of spring. What does it mean, months of spring? Spring, we write in Hebrew, Aviv. Aviv. How do we read the word Aviv? Av. One second, I'll make a thin pen that I could write more. Av. And Yoden Bet. Yoden Bet are 12. So, what does it mean, Aviv? Av is father, the one who proceeds the 12. So, what is Aviv? What is spring? The number that contains the 12 is 13. Av, Father, one second. Father to the 12. What is the father of 12? 12 is time. What is the father of 12? Love. So, what is the month Aviv? Month of love. Hayom. Hayom. Today, you are going out from the bondage of slavery, bondage of time. Bechodesh. Chodesh is not just months, but Chadash. Renew. There's a new spirit. Ha'aviv. In the spirit of love. In, in the spirit of love. This is how we're going out of Egypt. From the bondage of time. With the renewal of the love that we feel in the air. So is it the meaning of uh, to sanctify the firstborn uh, is to it is to make something beyond time and space like to yes yes to dedicate yes and to sec- sanc- sanctify every better Peter, uh, we say the name wow. P- Peter. What? What, uh, Fernando? What? Uh, it, uh, it came to my mind one thing that uh, Javier Zacluria says uh, uh, when he speaks about the four worlds. Yes. Know, and he speaks that the that, let's say, yeah. that is already manifested it is in on the mind and 
it is where we can find the concepts of right and wrong. Yes. Okay. But when we are in this mindset, let's say, right and wrong, uh, it already have some clipa. It already yes. have some mixture of the the yetserahara. Mm -hmm. uh, but in the supernal world, in Natsilut, mm -hmm. uh, we do not speak about right and wrong. We only speak about sacred and unsacred. So when you when you you open this verse now and 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 said about the importance of sanctify or to make it pure, uh, the firstborn uh, came to me that is uh, it's a production that uh, it's beyond the right and wrong. It is about purity. It's about uh, it is something <coughs> without mi mixture, maybe. Yes, uh, yes, yes. <laughs> Even better, better, pity, better and purity. Pity are better, pity. Better in Hebrew, it means the one who completes the womb. What is the firstborn? What is the concept of what is firstborn? If the, first of all, how do we look at firstborn is only for the mother. And the concept is that a firstborn is completing the destination of the womb. What is the destination of the womb? Is to mercy. Womb in Hebrew means mercy. Womb means mercy in Hebrew. In Aramaic, it means love. So, every first born that came from the womb, meaning if the womb did not miscarriage, or how do you say in German, Abrechen. Uh, abortion like natural life are coming without intervene this is the first born which comes from love and this is this is what God wants because if this and I don't speak so much about physical pregnancy what is better what is the first born the one who have compassion the one who can love the one who can mercy has the ability to mercy because not everyone has the ability to love to feel compassion but those who are capable they are in a way um, living in a different realm beyond time and space because love exists beyond time and space yes Fernando yeah. <coughs> so many things came in you know because in the realm of dreams mm -hmm. When, uh, when we dream about pregn pregnancy, mm -hmm. um, I I, li I read and listened to Marion Woodman mm -hmm. speaking that when when one dream about pregnancy, it must look for the next nine mo nine months mm -hmm. or the next forty weeks because it is a new energy that is coming and, and if the the one take care of it properly and it can be can bring a new life uh, to the world a new energy to, to itself and and so on and it is like what you are saying that it's not a physical thing thing you know you you are giving birth to an 
something beyond space and time. Yes. Yes. This is because the value of womb in Hebrew, Rechem, 248, is the value of Abraham. Again, the value of Rechem, womb, is 248 like Abraham and we can divide the word Abraham into, into two parts Ahav the one who loves Ahav Ram Ram is the high the one who loves the higher not what is manifested so this is the quality to love the higher sometimes how do we see this sometimes there's a moment of stress everyone across those moments so if people um, have like short perspective so they try to or they fall we fall sometimes we think that this is the enemy or no but uh, if we choose to stay and to combat in the moment of stress in a way we are falling into this uh, abyss but if we manage in our mind to ascend and to see that there's beyond this current moment there's there's another realm of peace and the moment is okay it's stressed but we don't uh, take it as this is the only thing that exists so we also manage to diffuse the stress not to believe that this stress is the only thing that exists this is where most people of the universe are and Abraham the quality of Abraham the quality of a loving person is to always to see beyond this current moment in a place or in, there's there's no conditions it's not this on the account of that this is the meaning of uh, love questions Jeff, Philip, Rodrigo. Hope you can hear us. Hello. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. I just just uh, want to mention uh, we are talking about uh, Hechem and Abraham. Yes. Two for the womb and Bamid Bar. Uh, the book of numbers yes uh, has the same value 248 yes that's correct yes also in the, in, des in the desert yes, in has the same value yes this is in a way why moses is always uh this is also an even number and in the desert there are many conflicts also in the womb in the womb the pregnancy is hard to carry it, and we don't speak now about the physical fetus it is hard to carry but also when we are conceived with I, I ideas or projects it's like we have conflicts all the time because there's like a even relation between left and right between white and red But when we are able to see the next moment, we are also able to conceive the pregnancy or to deliver the next idea or to deliver the new life. It is true. It is true. In a way, in the human body according to the sages 
there are 248 organs. But this is quite deep. Questions so far? If you have a lot planned for today's class, we probably have about another half an hour. Mm -hmm. Ruth, I just would like to read us what Ruth is writing on, on YouTube. I called my first born child love Amanda and my daughter Amanda is full of compassion. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. The ability to love is not to see uh, oneself, meaning don't to be selfish. And we can see those uh, qualities in children already when they're quite young. We can see this. Now, I would like to share with you a beautiful painting that I found this afternoon looking for the firstborn. And please describe for us what do we see in this painting and what does the painter, it's a French one, what kind of a secret does he reveal in this painting that he calls the firstborn? I will make it a bit bigger to share it also with YouTube listeners, I mean, participants. Who would like to describe what do we see here? I can try it. <coughs> So we can see a room, a bedroom, yes. where we have uh, a woman laid down that she just delivered a baby, maybe, mm -hmm. and the baby is on the uh, arisa, on the yes. nest, I don't know. Yeah, how, the cradle, how it's cradle, baby's cradle. The cradle, yes, the cradle, mm -hmm. and we, we see a grandmother. Mm -hmm. taking care of her um, maybe she's she's the the mother of the the woman mm -hmm. you know it looks like and she taking care of, uh, helping to take care of the baby and the woman mm -hmm. and we see the husband also giving support in the in a lower level you know? mm -hmm. can you describe uh, the face of the the woman who gave birth what is happening? How is she located in bed? Uh, it seems exhausted. Exhausted. Seems she is yeah. resting. She might. She might be resting in the middle of the bed. Her eyes are rested. She has a cover on her hair. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And the husband. How does he relate? <laughs> He is tired as well because he is sitting like in a, and, and, and taking some rest at the, the side of the bed, but he's seated. Mm -hmm. For the child and the, the, her, his wife. You know. mm -hmm. He's leaning diagonally. Yes, yes he, this is very important. He's leaning diagonally. And let's look at the grandmother what is so special where does she sit what does she hold in her hand she sits next to the window yes she has an umbrella to protect the sun maybe umbrella umbrella let's look very carefully i don't know what it is okay means. okay thank you fernando okay yeah. It is something that I, I, I do not know. Okay. And, and she is looking to the, the grandson, you know, 
Mm -hmm. like waiting to take action. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you so much. Etty? Yes. Also, we can see in the wall a uh, painting of of yes. the Mary, Virgin Mary, you know? Yes. It just came to me that we have here the three women, like in the sketches that you posted this week. Mm -hmm. This one, Fernando? Yes. yes. With, the, with the aura, yes, around her. Yes, and there's a very good, very good now. And did you notice the color of the curtain where the grandmother sits? Yes, it is white. It is white. It represents Hochma, if we could say it. Mm -hmm. The lavan, the, the white. We can see the grandmother that could represent Pina. Mm -hmm. And we can see here a front-to-front -front relationship between husband and wife. Mm -hmm. And the divine child, if we put this in the, the context of the Tree of Life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, Fernando. Thank you so much. And when we focus at the grandmother, let's suppose she is the grandmother. Who can identify, recognize what does she is, what does she, what is she holding, or what is next to her here? Do you recognize this part? Jeff, Rodrigo, Philip, Ruth, Victoria, do I will make it bigger. Do you recognize this part? I don't recognize it, but just from the illustration, I'd probably say it looks fluffy of some kind. Mm -hmm. Fernando says it, it reminds him of umbrella and you said it's kind of fluffy. Jeff. Mm. I don't know if it's a birthing tool or not mm -hmm. for pulling the head. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they, you know, stick a thing on the head to assist or pull it mm -hmm. like a plunger. I don't know if it's that, mm -hmm. probably not. According to the expression of the grandmother's face, Ruth is writing, is she holding a wool? Ve very good, Victoria, is it? Very good, Ruth and Victoria, zusammen, together, very good. Here we have help. Ruth uh, is writing, is she holding a spindle? A spindle in English? A spindle yes. for... for yeah, for spinning, and Victoria is writing, is she spinning wool, maybe? I'm not sure what it could be. Acco according to the expression of the face, yes. And both of you are right, Ruth and Victoria. Now, <laughs> I would like to ask you, if what the grandmother is holding is a spinning, how do you say, call it spindle, spindle, or spindle in English? Spindle. Um, spindle. If it's a spindle for spinning or uh, what Victoria spinning wool. If this is what she's holding in her hand and in a way this is it according to her expression, her facial expression, this is support that she's holding the wool or the spindle. What? Does the spindle or the wool has to do with the firstborn? 
Ladies, this one's for you. <laughs> Again? Um, I, I wouldn't have a clue, to be honest, myself. Okay. What does a wolf... Think of the biblical story. What does the wolf or the spindle has to do with the firstborn? What does the painter want to, want to tell us? He Something named... Something like that. Yes? Would usually be done when they go to make clothes, yeah? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. I'd assume something in that direction, just the shape sort of says no. Mm -hmm. What the wool has to do with the firstborn? Think about the biblical story. Who are the first children to be born in the Bible? Yeah, Cain and Abel. Yes. And what is their professions? Okay. What are? Uh, shepherd. Yes. She yeah, shepherd. Who is shepherd? Hevel. Hevel. He is shepherd, and he takes care of what the sheep of the wool. Yes, he's, he's the sheep. Yes. yes, and the sheep gives the wool. According to the biblical story, who was they were twins? Who was bo born first? Cain. Cain. He was born born first. But according to what we see here, who is the firstborn? Hevel. Hevel. Yeah. Yeah. Ava. In a way, the the painter is brilliant. Th this is what marks the firstborn. The wool, the lamb, the shepherd, the weaving. Not just weaving wool, but the way we weave our speech. This is how the spirit weaves her communication to us. Look at the expression of the grandmother. Is she aggressive? No. No. She's only taking care. Taking care of things slowly, slowly, spinning, spinning. Yes. Yes? She's worried, she's thinking, she's thinking maybe, how can I help her? How can I help them? We don't know what cause, uh, how was the birth? The mother is exhausted, she's resting, the father is also overstretched. Now, what? This painting has has to do with the firstborn or with the verse that we quoted from Exodus. In a way, what God wants from Moses, or through Moses, he communicates to us. What is the communication here? Sanctify to me. Who? The firstborn. Yes, and who is the firstborn? Heaven. Heaven. The and what, speech. The sp yes, the speech and the spirit. Yes. Yes. And when, by the way, when we make clothes from mm, wool, it is something that uh, happens naturally, meaning. There is a sheep and the times come in the summer, they uh, cut off the, 
wool to help the sheep to, that it will not be hot for her and it is something that is given to us without taking lives and people process the wool and make uh, they sp spin it and from this we can make sweater in the winter this is something that life this is the course of life is to give to make um, uh, wool we don't take life just in the summer in june in the north hemisphere this is what happens they uh, helping the sheep they remove the wool from them and then they spin this is the this is the first born meaning Can just to yes just sorry, to give yes yes on. yes yes just to give life not to take just to give life because when the shepherd goes the sheep themselves they give like milk this is what they do they give milk and they give the wool in the summer and the milk we can make we can make drinks or uh, cheese and from the wool we can spindle spin sweaters in the winter and sew blankets and so but this is the characteristic of the firstborn just to give just love to give not to take just giving all the time giving yes questions i was only gonna see if we could possibly uh, go back to the verse yes if yes. that's okay yes of course yes which verse would you like to speak or to discuss uh, if we could just get all of them on screen just to have a flick through yes. a little bit lower sorry yes. uh, for youtube one second because it doesn't reflect to me uh, at the same moment it has a delay just tell me if you see before us i mean if it's correct that's fine now yes would you like to read the verses again the four verses if no one else has any questions or anything else to mention Fernando, Jeff, Rodrigo, would I you like? I was just, uh, yeah. <laughs> just when, when I, I don't know it if uh, if uh, goes to the right way, but I was just looking at the verses, like deep looking at the text before, and I was looking at the the expression "kadosh li," uh, mm -hmm. sanctify to me, mm -hmm. gives the gematria of four, 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 four hundred and forty-four. Mm -hmm. you know? So, I don't know if it makes sense, but I was know that the number four is the manifestation. And mm -hmm. I would like to bring back the, the four. The four into the mm -hmm. one, yes? Yes. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm just curious. Yes. Uh, first, so yes, whatsoever okay. openeth the womb among the children of Israel, after mentioning sanctify unto me all the firstborn. Yes. Whatsoever openeth the womb, the womb among the children. That that sounds more metaphor. In in what that's trying to say what uh, again one second because i would like to follow the hebrew which verse the first two yes yes where it says uh, after mentioning all the firstborn yes in that next section it says whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of israel <laughs> Uh, yes. I I don't understand. You you ask about the English. 
Uh, no, I just noticed um, I was mentioning that that part, the, the section of that verse there, uh, it, it sounds a lot like a metaphor uh, in what that part's saying. In, instead of talking about a, a, a firstborn birth, it, it's really opened it up. Uh, yeah, into something else. So you ask you're asking what does it I'm I'm trying to No, no question, no question. Uh just a contribution. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, that was an observation. So you could you could read a verse not as a, you could read a verse as a metaphor. Or you know what? Uh question out of that. Uh mm -hmm. what does the Hebrew side uh say in particular? Uh, about uh, sanctify for me every firstborn, which completely. Uh, and then the section just after that. Bivne Israel in the sons of Israel, what is in the sons of Israel? The sons of Israel are not, uh, how do you say, ethnicity or the children of Israel or the sons of Israel, are, how do you say, are not biological the children of Israel. Once we were saying that. The name Israel, the name Israel in, he in Hebrew has the value of 541, 541, and we can write it in this in a hidden way. How? <laughs> we just write a little hey, because the hey is both five. <laughs> But also every hay conceives Dalet and Yod. So every hay, it's like a babushka in the Russian, within and within. So every hay is like five, but every hay is Dalet and one. So it's also four and one. Okay. Plus, 541 is the sum up, if we take the 10 spheres in Hebrew, their names, Keter, Chochma, Bina, Crown, Wisdom, Understanding, and we take every first letter in Hebrew of the 10 spheres, they give us the value of 541, like the value of Israel. So Israel, in a way, is a code name for the tree of life. So sanct, sancti, uh, how do you say, sanctify unto me all the firstborn among the children of the tree of life. Instead, instead of reading Israel, I mean, you can replace, we can replace every word Israel in the Bible, as tree of life, it will work. It is proven mathematically. Yeah, well. Because what is the name Israel? We did not open it yet in Hebrew. What is the name Israel? One second, and take a little space because I wrote before class, let's move it here. One second. The name Israel is five letters we can create from this many uh, combinations. One of them, Yashar. Yashar is straight. How do I write straight? S T R A I. G H T straight yes L is God straight to God or direct direct to God this is the meaning 
of the name Israel, Yashar El, directed with God, straight with God, honest with God. This is the meaning of the name Israel if we read it in this way. Yashar is straight, straight. In, in uh, Greek we say orthodox, we speak about orthodox, but orthodoxia is like the straight opinion or the straight mind. Now, what come to be in our time, orthodox is like people who are extremely religious. It means basically in Greek, Greek, ortho, ortho is straight. Like we take children to orthodent to straight their teeth. How do, I don't know how to say this in English when children are wearing, wearing braces on their teeth. Yeah, the orthodont. Ortho, because ortho is straight. In the same manner, Yashar in Hebrew is straight, it's like also. So Israel, it means Yashar El, straight with God. But we can open the name again to another combination. Li Rosh. Rosh is head, meaning I have not just head, but I have the potential. I have the origin. It is. Yes. And we can also, I think, make a Charlie. A Charlie, yes. Like happiness uh, for me. Happiness, like yes. Yes, happiness for me. I'm happy, yes. Or share. Or share. Like a share, a share, the eighth son of Jacob, a Charlie. Asher Li. Asher is like happiness, yes, but he is also the eighth son. So also the eighth day. So eighth day is the eighth of the Messiah. Yes, I'm with the eighth. I'm with the infinite and so on. This is the meaning of the name Israel. Israel is not a name of a national state. Well, it's among it. others, but not only. Yes, yes, Rodrigo. We can, we can create uh, something uh, like Minister of God or something like that. Shar and with Shin and Resh. Yes, but Minister with God. Yes. yes. To min minister, yes. Yes, Sal, yes. This so, may help even uh, get onto the question I asked the other day yes. about when you're uh, comparing words through values, if those words are relevant to each other. Just now, uh, you, so you saying uh, Israel it means tree of life, and Israel also means uh, straight to God. Does yes. that also mean that tree of life means straight to God? Yes. It does, okay. Yes, yes, yes. This is the meaning of the tree of life. With, straight with God. Perfect. That's what I was curious about. Thank you. Questions? Thoughts? Fernando, Rodrigo, Jeff, Victoria, Ruth. We have new friends. Well, on. Yes? It would seem then that there's a streaming of God's love that's um, more straight than that's happening. You know, when you talk about sensing it in the air. Yes. That's what this would imply to me, that the streaming of God's love is more direct. Yes. 
Yes, this is it. This is it. That that will change a lot of things. Just by virtue of that. Mm -hmm. Can't help but change things. It is there. It's just straight. The, the communication comes straight. Love comes straight. What happens is that during the time people look for means of communications and that people will stand uh, and protect them from this open love. It's too much for people. Yeah. Erich from uh, a German uh, psychologist uh, wrote a very famous book in the 20th century the uh, how people escape from freedom willingly people choose to escape from freedom to uh, escape from love most of humanity chooses not to deal with freedom not to deal with love because it's it is infinitely open you have to have the vessel without the vessel it is impossible to 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 play with love yes yes i was looking at you at this painting and about the grandmother yes and we tend we tend to think that we have in this painting a blood relationship, you know, like uh, grandmother and daughter. Mm -hmm. But uh, when people are open enough to love, uh, the bound of blood doesn't matter, mm -hmm. you know, because you can have th this truly relationship without any connection with blood. It is like uh, this woman could be any woman of the village that mm. has a good heart. You know? Yes. And if the two wi women okay. have a good heart, they can have this true relationship without any bondage on blood. But usually people do not uh, cannot have this kind of relationship only when in in with within the family you know yes or within the village but but in fact you can have this kind of relation because uh, each person reflects an archetype you know yes it is a, so uh, it is all at the same time uh, it is not only a, uh, it is difficult even to, to speak but I can remember one his history I think I, I saw it on the, a film about uh, an Indian guy that went to, to the United States the name of the film is Awake and the guy speaks about the the moment that he lost his mother and uh, it's Yogananda the name of the the, 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 the sage let's mm -hmm. say the Indian, Indian sage mm -hmm. and in the very moment that he lost his mother he could see his mother everywhere you know mm -hmm. in the nature in other women's in uh, he could understand that it was not something personal, it was mm. something universal. Yes, uh, yes, yes, this is I, it. I do not know if I, I'm talking no sense here, it, but uh, it just came to me that this, this kindness in the look of the grandmother. Yes, we can, yes. We, we can find not only in our grandmothers, you know, yes. we can find anywhere. This human, this is human mercy. She has a lot of love and mercy and concern. She might be anyone. 
Yes, it is true that most of the people, their navigation system in the world is their family, and if they it's bigger, it's their village or the city. But everybody's beyond is considered to be a stranger, suspicion, <laughs> and so uh, very few people on the planet can feel brotherhood to another human being in spite of not being uh, a friend of his community. Because usually people can practice compassion, like you say, between family, this is acceptable in the village, in the town. If it's bigger, it's in the region. If it's bigger, it is in their state or under national flag or under common culture or under common lifestyle. This, this they can understand or conceive. It is unusual and in a way it's the way of the spirit to love and to feel compassion to someone who's different than you and someone who is not from our family, our village, our town, and so. But this is, this is the meaning of humanity. It's unconditional. And it's invisible, right? It yes. Yes. Because we do not know why we have new relationship with different people. Like yes. why we are in this room right now with yes. these people. Yes. Yes. It it is yes. Yes. You it know, is. because something connected everybody that is here now. It is something that is a uh, equivalence of form in some level. Mm -hmm. You know, because otherwise it won't be here. Maybe. Yes, yes, yes. Th that's, that is the truth. It's invisible like this day, like humanity is, the compassion that we feel is invisible, the truth is invisible. Like this day, like this quality of this day. Yes, Jeff? Pardon me? Did you want to say something? No, I was just listening. Thank you. Michel? Like you say, like you say it's, a, it's an invisible quality, but it's um, a quality of love. Yes. The quality, it, it, it's actually the spirit is love. Yes. The spirit's invisible, but that love can be felt, though, even though it's invisible. This is it. This is it. Mm hmm. I think that when it comes to the place where it can be felt, uh, that really does change hearts. You know, there's people running from it, they're afraid of it, but when it comes in a way that they don't know where it's coming from, but, but it's felt and they know it's God's love, they know it's Him, it brings peace and at that point they surrender I think anyone that has come to come to the Lord that's here like the people here have already had that experience where they surrender and that's you know that's it you know it's a point of 
when hearts surrender uh, more of the Lord's kingdom comes you know yeah. it's near to everybody it's not very far away it's right there walking with everybody it's just a matter of when will they surrender and I, I do think again that uh, at some point uh, people stop resisting when that is it's different for each person but you know if it's very direct um, a lot of times it happens to everyone that that you know in a gathering so to speak if there's a gathering it happens to a lot of people at once which is a beautiful thing for the world Jeff if I may just what you said it is very precise and because the when the defeat of the ego is the opportunity to the spirit you know and, and it makes me remember about Joseph and his brothers in the book of Thomas Mann and he describes when Jacob is leaving his father's house is defeated you know because Kim Eliphaz, I think, Eliphaz. Yes. Maybe it, if you could Eliphaz. help me. Yes, Eliphaz. And and humiliate Jacob till he like go to the ground, you know, like yes. imploring for his life. And he is like very upset because he's not liking the situation. He would not like to mistreat his brother. And now he's been persecuted, he could lose his life. And in this very moment, he is sitting outside the city of Luz, and he goes to sleep in a stone, and, and we know what happened after. But it's in this exact moment that you are mentioning, Jeff, that is the, the moment when you die for the, the old, you know, you die for the old situation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Exactly. Thank you, Fernando. I thank you, friend. Thank you so much for being here for participating in this conversation during the months, the weeks and I would like to bless uh, everyone with uh, the blessing of the firstborn to listen that everyone will, will listen and will hear his vocation as a firstborn of the Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much, E.T. Amen, amen. Definitely. Thank you very much. Uh, what day do you intend to return on? The 25th uh, of April. 25th of April. It will be Monday. Monday. 25th right. of April. We shall return at the same time. And I would Sounds like, good. yes, would like to wish you a beautiful vacation, wonderful vocation, and just use Discord or any medium of communication to communicate to communicate whatever you feel. And I would like to uh, wish everyone most wonderful life with the spirit. Amen. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. You too. Yeah. Thank you. Happy Easter and Passover to everyone. Happy Passover. All the best. Thank you so much, Eti. Thank you, friends. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Everybody. Thank you too. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Enjoy.